Yellow, I'm Skip from the widescreen gaming forum, and there is a shade of a person covering my ass. Welcome to episode 53? Yeah, 53 of my blind Dark Souls 2 playthrough. We died two times last time, we were on death 276. We have 24 deaths remaining to complete the game in under 300. So we're off to meet an ancient dragon. So, let us head off. Hello? Uh... None of these bridges loop back around to there, so I think I have to access that from this side somehow. There's no way I can attempt to jump that. It's suicidal. Is there a ladder I'm missing? Because apparently I've missed ladders before. Is there a second bridge over from this side? No. It's behind here, I think. There used to be a bridge there. And there used to be a bridge there, but neither of those exist anymore. Maybe they're zipline bridges. Hello! Irritating, annoying thingies. Specifically designed to blow me off a bridge, not necessarily kill me instantly. I hear one of those armor dudes, little blue things. They make sparkly noises. I'm guessing attacking the eggs is a really, really, really dumb thing to do. I would have to guess that the dragons tolerate my be or tolerate my existence here, but I see you. But attacking the dragon eggs is almost certainly going to get their ire. Can I hit that without hitting the dragon eggs though? Is there a limit to how much they'll tolerate of me doing that? There's something red there a second ago. Yeah, the only way past them is through them. Again, I hear sparkling noises. I can't imagine the dragons are happy about me doing that. It's probably above me the last twinkly one I can hear. Tough enemy ahead but treasure. 
Oh. Another dragon. There you are. So I wasted a charge of that, but... Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> There's three of them up there. So getting backed into a corner against his... Hang on a second. Duh. That'll help. Getting backed into a corner against that thing is not very helpful. Hazardous to your health. So there's at least three of them. Three of those blue things. to avoid hitting it directly well avoid getting in close range combat with it because then the I kind of figured that would do a lot of damage. Good, they're still alive. Watch the hole. So lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Alt stone. Dragon tooth. Oh, weapon. Weapon. Something up there. Uh I don't know if that's the cave that I've just come from. Many different paths to take. So there's a lower path, there's a higher path. This way goes... Oh, that's a one-way trip. see you. Lord 
run off? Jump off? Actually, I don't think I can run off here. Last time I tried, it just didn't work. Hmm. In the shortcut. Well, I've seen a shortcut, but I can't get in that shortcut. If I was a great dragon, I would be up there. No, there's not a great dragon, but there is a dragon up there. Shit! I'm dead. So lots and lots of armor shards are in that general direction. I thought I saw something. I was wrong. Those dragons only spawn once. I'll find out in a minute. Uh, I want to say what's on the other side of this particular bridge. Ah, shortcut. Try jumping off through short from shortcut. Yeah, that looks like a gap you can make. I don't have too many souls over there, but still. Run off? No. Try jumping off from shortcut. This is the shortcut. Okay, so they both head the same way anyway, so let's see if the dragon's back up there. Or whether I've got to kill them once each. If I've got to kill them once each, then that's not too bad. If I have to kill them all multiple times, or well, every time, then that's irritating. Oh, I missed one. All the upgrade material. Uh, that was a ladder, wasn't it? Yeah. You've probably got to destroy the bridge of the shortcut to do it. And again, the dude is around the corner. Uh, 
Where are my souls? Are those items still there? No, they've lost. I shouldn't have killed it. I overburned myself in stamina. So I did lose some shards, which is a shame. I'm sure there's a blue guy over here, I'm guessing it's run away. I see you. I'm just probing my options first. This probably goes to the same place. If not, then... Oh, you don't actually... Well, you're a bit useless then, aren't you? If you can't actually do damage to me. attack position. So there's one other way around. I hear twinkling. It could just be from those dudes from down there. So this goes around as well. Does this lead to the same place? Ah, this is a more optimum spot to try and take him out from. Okay. Plunge and attack it is then. Two hand it. And. Bombs away! I did not think that through! <laughs> I did not think that through at all. Yeah, I can just fall an unlimited distance. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I can't believe that I did that. I trusted the words on the floor and entirely forgot. Shall not happen again. I was just confirming that that hole I saw earlier didn't actually land on anything important. I wasn't useful. And they're not. They're just areas that I can get to anyway. there are any of those blue twinkly things that ran away during the course of that initial fight. 
Well, not the initial fight, the second fight. Yeah, there's one over there. And I also lost one because I killed it and didn't get its items. So it's better to let them run away and then come back later than it is to just try and kill them quickly. My souls should be here. So, let's do this correctly. We cast Fall Control. We cast Great Magic Weapon. We get that ready, and now we drop off and try and chop its head off. And I missed. I needed to know that one way or the other. Its tail is fairly nasty. I need it to be using a flamethrower and then using that as cover. I think I've still got my flame on, don't I? I do. Ah, I use the flaming in place of my defense ring. Not that that's going to cause any significant issue, but something to bear in mind. Item. Nothing to value. Nothing of significant value. That's a good point, there was a weapon. Dragon's Tooth, I believe it was called. It's a it's a hammer? I suppose if the dragon is large enough I can see it being a hammer weapon. I don't really think that's particularly any or I don't really think that's really any shorter than the other way around. Okay, so same plan again. Only this time you want to get clear of his tail if we can. properly run off. Aim for the bulk of its body. Attack sooner than that. again. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Why aren't you attacking? Fall back. <laughs> Take on this guy first. Holy shit! The warnings were right, I shouldn't have let him out. He's gonna keep appearing at the worst possible times. And 
thing is an irritating ass. Yeah, there's not enough souls there to be overly worried if I lose them. If I'd have to guess, I would say he spawns on a timer. So he's killed himself once, I've killed him once, he's killed me once. So all around we're even. That's a good point, does he remain there in spite of killing me? Because if he does then this is suicide. I can't see him down there. Doesn't mean he's not. Oh. I didn't kill you. Fair enough, this will. Another petrified something? Ring of the Evil Eye plus Maybe it's just because I got close to that bridge that he spawned. So maybe he does spawn in particular places. Uh, no, it was a ring, wasn't it? Yeah, I've now got two of those. He takes the lead. He's a swine, although I would have been fine if I could have locked onto him for that range. Yeah, so at least I know his spawn locations are scripted. So I can use that against him. In that I can be prepared for them.
He has exactly the right complement of spells that he needs. He has close range spells that deal a lot of damage. He has long range spells that deal a lot of damage. He has tracking spells. Probably not going to be a way to get back up from down here. There is not. Please excuse the fact that I'm now double back in. Uh, we can get rid of my. We're not going to encounter situations where the great sword is useful. That's not going to do anything to him. In fact, no. We know where he's going to spawn. We know where he's going to spawn. We can be ready for him and we can just keep tricking him into running into us and dealing a lot of damage to himself. Problem is, while he's spawning in, I can't do any damage to him. And the second he spawns in, he's probably going to start casting a spell. Why are you firing upwards? Fire forward, please. He's right over there. Lock onto him! That thing travels through walls. Okay, two for two. Or oh, two for me, two for him. I don't count the one where he killed himself as my victory. Because he just died to something. I didn't even see him. I don't know what he died to. I'm guessing this area here is the fighting mat. Wobbly bridge. Bonfire. Bonfire! Uh, rest of bonfire. Yeah, let's reset our spells. And let's swap out that spell for that one. That was not the spell I wanted to swap out. 
that one. Oh, hello. You look familiar. Have I seen metal versions of you before? Whoa! Excuse me a second. Something up there attacked me. I'll come back to you in a second. I was trying to cast this and I got attacked from behind by something I did not see. You also hit me with a magic. I think you hit me with a magic. I could have been hit from behind. No, you did fire magic out your sword. That's cheap! Mimic? Not a mimic. Trapped, probably. Not trapped. One side of this. I really should start using those. I'm presuming they're a good way of getting extra souls. Hello. Anything useful? Ooh. Illusionary wall. Not a mimic. Not trapped. Staff of Wisdom. That is a full set of mage gear. Well, fuck me. That staff is flat out better in every respect than the one I have at the moment. Once upgraded. I suspect it's a unique weapon and requires to be upgraded with titanite shards. No, twinkling titanite. But it also requires level 50 to use, but that's the one, that's the staff that What's-His-Face has. What is his face? I can't remember his name. The person that converts my um, large souls into items. Speaking of, I still have one to trade. Or we'll do that in the um, end of the episode. So once I reach 50 int, I can equip that. We'll have to see how we can upgrade it. But yeah, that is a perfect weapon. Because I'm not using dark spells, I'm only using light ones. And it casts faster. It's better in every respect. Every respect that I use it for, at least. That's a big ass mace you've got there. That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Yeah, that can one-shot me, so yeah, that hurts. I expected there to be a larger delay between his two attacks. I'm wasting vital... No, well, not deaths. You're almost certainly out of range, aren't you? Oh. 
Excuse me, I'm just backing away for a second. That priest is going to be a royal pain in the ass. That shockwave is huge. Right, so point of fact, that doesn't deal any damage. Can I hit you from here? If I can, you die. You're in range. Come on, do that again. Cheating swine. Again, you tweet cheating swine. You're casting that from above your head. I can't do that. Why should you be allowed to? Okay, so this mace guy will two-shot me if I let him. Do you have unlimited stamina or something? Where's the priest? Multiple directions up. Get the priest, get the priest, get the priest, get the priest, get the priest. <laughs> Screw him, you die. <laughs> Finally a faint stone. Unfortunately it's not particularly of much use to me anymore. Chest over there, another dude over there, is there another priest anywhere? That's the way up for that one. Uh, to get to that is a matter of run and jump. Are you gonna fall down here? You look like you potentially could. Oh crap, there's two of them. Come on, there's a staircase. You can use it. Where's 
the other dude. Damn it. My initial shot fell short. That's why how he killed me. My initial shot fell shell fort, so they fell short. I avoid the second one and thought I can get in before he attacks me and I was wrong. Very, very wrong. So, I've not been paying attention to how many souls they are actually worth. But at this point, it's kind of a mute point. Mute point? Mute point, that's the one. So, we are... Ignoring you. And we are ignoring you. And we are ignoring this guy. Because you, irritating sir, have to die. Well, that's the thing, they're in range. I can actually hit them from here. Is he still coming my way? He isn't, but never mind. We just need one good shot on him and he dies. Thousand souls, they're worth a decent amount. Oh, you do not look pleasant. You got a hammer and a large shield. Though I didn't see a way to get to you. I see a way to get to you. He looked like an easy kill. So... I think I know how I'm supposed to get to him. I'm just wondering how I'm supposed to get out away from him afterwards. I think what you're supposed to do is jump over here. Actually, no. Although I think I can make that jump, I think that jump will kill me. Let's not aim for a hole, let's aim there. Yeah. It was an idea, but the idea won't work. Oh, I'm being blind as a bat. At least one of these is going to be trapped. Doesn't look like he can make it through there. He probably doesn't care that I'm here. He 
You're a mimic. I can see it. I can see it in your bony teeth. Washing pole? <laughs> Is that another kind of staff? There's me lightning short though. It did say it was a weapon, didn't it? Oh, there it is. Washing pole is a katana. Yeah, I don't think it's better than my existing katana. Not that upgrading it would be worth it at all in any way. Another slab. So there is a big guy with a massive shield and a mace. And I'm coming up behind him. I'm not coming up behind him. Not a mace, a hammer. Okay, we're going to make a run back there. I don't know why I did that now, but never mind. It saves me from doing it later. Walk. I didn't mean to roll. Run. Walk. Run. I should say jog rather than walk. And it. He's still coming. Steady down. Now leg it. Roll off. Come on, I am rolling here. And of course, I can't get through his shield. Oh, I can get through his shield. So if it's an illusionary wall, how the hell am I supposed to open it? Attacking it doesn't seem to do anything. Walking into it, rolling into it, running into it doesn't appear to do anything. Looking for another bonfire, hopefully. Sounds like he's above me. Okay. 
Not a mimic. Not trapped. Third dragon ring. Increases HP, stamina. Whoa! That is. It depends on how much it increases it by, but. And it weighs. Ne That's 100 extra HP! That's a pretty sweet ring! I don't want that one equipped anymore. I want to be that one in this area. Hang on a second. No, that's right. It is still equipped. Okay, so where is this guy that invaded me? I am aware that it's pretty much wrapping up time. He's here. You the only guy in here? You look like the only guy in here. That looks like a dragon egg. I don't think that actually hit it, but never mind. Wait, you can't. Isn't that a shame? Crystal magic weapon. Yeah, crystal magic appears to be just a better version of standard sorcery. But I can only use that once. Item? Oh, left over from him. Whoa! Give me time to heal, please. That's enough levels for two more levels. Flies death above. Lure it out.
Oh Christ. As much as I'd like to fight you now. <laughs> we're one hour in and I don't feel much feel like taking the two of you on when I've burned so many spells already. So we will We'll loop back, it's not like the bonfire's far. Ah, and there's something that we meant to try and forgot to try. I thought it might be an illusionary wall or a wall that could be destroyed. Why are you standing there? Doesn't matter, you're derping. Okay, so we have a soul that we've not seen what item we can craft from said soul. So, first things first. Before we finish up. Well, there is fire. I have your staff now. Doesn't look like there's a new one in there. There's not a new one in there. You're not selling any new items or spells. Cursed one, take the... People became aware of their own frailty. They seized anybody they found undesirable. Yeah, I've heard that before. So he's given me a full set of the robes that he wears, which are actually a upgrade to the robes that you start with, because you get black hollowed made robes. So he's just flat out given me black made robes. But I've also now got robes of judgment. Although black mage robes appear to be better anyway. Let's just have a look at the stats of these, just out of curiosity. Robes of Judgment have higher physical defence, but the black robes have higher magical defence as well. Okay, one more place to check. We need to see if this item can be crafted into anything nice. It is only a standard large soul given, so there's not going to be all that much nice things that can be crafted with it. And here's the range to hit me from there as well. Oh, spiders came to play. Getting them to destroy the door is an easy way to get inside. <laughs> Anything new to sell, item-wise? Nope. Oh, you sell spells now. I oh, know you sold spells, in spells initially. So, what can you make me from this? A spear. Not directly useful to me. Oh. Or an ultra great sword. Again, not useful to me. It is said that our technique. Uh, we wanted to know this new staff. It is twinkling titanite that is required to improve. Uh, where's. Well, oh, my existing one isn't there because it's already improved as high as it will go. How many times can you improve an item with twinkling titanite? 
This next one would make the staff better than my current one. Six times. So that staff is now flat out better than my existing one, however... I can't actually use it. Because my intelligence isn't high enough. Uh, it's, yeah, it's still better in pretty much every respect because it has fractionally more damage, but it also has a higher counter chance, a higher po po poise disruption chance, and a faster casting time, and it's lighter. Oh no, it's the same, same weight. It's because I'm wearing that ring. That ring that's improving all of my stats. So for the sake of completeness, and since we now actually have a spare faith stone, fate stone rather. I ought to fit foot. The power of and Can we infuse it? We can. So yeah, that staff is now a lot better than my existing one. Can only be leveled up five times though, so that's good to know. Does require a lot more twinkling tag tonight to do such a thing though. That one also requires Twinkling Tritonite to upgrade. Flame. Dear flame. Uh, we should have enough souls to level twice. I could put... Because I have a weapon and spells that require it, I could start dumping all of my um, points into intelligence to try and get that staff so I can use it. It wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. I mean, my sword deals a lot of damage as it is. So many my spells. Massively increasing the damage of my spells would be useful. Well, not massively, but still greatly, so... Sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you yet. So yeah, we'll do that. So, let us... This might actually be enough to level three times. Because I think these are worth 20,000 each. That's probably enough for three. I still have all of these, and unless there is a third person that will make stuff from these souls, mm -hmm. we'll hold on to them for now. Okay. Level up. All the points intent. So I wanted to tweak my spells slightly. I want to have... Well no, that one is only really useful for boss fights. I basically want to take that in with me when I'm going into a boss fight. Whereas the other two, these two, are useful for general, general combat. Oh! By the way!
that's a beam, not a bolt. That's basically what um, I need a target to try this on. That's basically what the spider used against me. Only it was doing it horizontally as opposed to vertically. may be a use for that, but I don't think so. The cast time is fairly long. And it's close range only. You would have to have the timing really well off, or you'd have to have the guy stunned long enough to pull it off. So I don't think it is particularly useful. Because again, we're not really coming across many large groups of enemies, which is what the great sword would be useful for. So we'll stick with this combination for now, and we shall end the episode there because we are now one minute, one hour twelve. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. We've made some progress today. We've pushed on to the next area, which I think is the last area, bar that one. Yeah. So we are getting very, very close by the looks of it. Apparently we've missed a bonfire there, but not to worry, I'll double back for that later. And those, or that staircase is probably just the last bit, so it's just about to get to the top of the staircase. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the episode, if you did, please like and subscribe. So that just leaves me to say thank you again, and hopefully I will see you next time.